Then I said, I, me, I want to get, I have to get another job. So now I am sucked right into the corporate culture. I'm actually thinking this music thing, I'm not sure about it anymore. And I said, I want a proper job, you know, I want to work. And I applied for a job at uh, Capital FM. Mm -hmm. And I got a job as uh, the events manager. What? Yes. <laughs> 2000 and? 2000, was it four, I think? Yeah, mm. I just graduated and I, and I worked at my job site for a very short time. Mm. Yeah. So let me ask you, the passing of Isa mm -hmm. has already happened at this time? I think so, yes. Because it was 2000 and if I'm not wrong, 2003, 2004. Mm -hmm. um, just how did that hit you? That hit me hard. <clears throat> and I think it also contributed to sort of me slowing down because I was like, whoa, that just happened. All that work. Because you see, Issa was a lot of inspiration for for us guys. Mm, the Ogopa, the Ogopa other artists. Yes, the other artists who had not yet gotten recorded, like who didn't even have albums. We're talking about me, we're talking about Klepto, we're talking about Logombas. Mm, you know, uh, we were all hoping to get our albums out and, you know, we had all dreams and hopes and basically, I'm basically, what, to cut and raise us not to be doing performance, <laughs> instantly to party a hope. Mm, you know, mm, yes, you're the big artist, Akina, Red Sun, um, Nameless, nameless Now, now mm, um, Googs and Vinnie Banton, those were the guys, man, when they get onto stage, it's another story altogether. And then now they are the ones in the middle, Klepto and Logombas. Mm, mm, mm. And then now they are us guys. Me, Asa, Big Pin, Buccaneers, mm. those guys were just cutting razors. So we saw a guy who used to be in Will the you middle there. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a bit attacking a cleft. Of, you know, yeah. you're thinking, this can be done, you know. So you get really inspired. And then he passes and he had these big songs. And I'm like, oh, that was, it, it, was, it hurt. Mm. And just to think that it was cut off, cut short that, that, that fast, it was, it was not. It, mm. it hurt, yeah. Let's say what it is. It hurts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you get this job at Capital, Capital FM, yeah. and now I'm right bang in the middle of the corporate culture. I'm not even thinking that much about music. When, when, what were you doing for events? I was basically the events manager. So we're doing events. It was basically whatever's happening on radio, trying to see how it can get on ground and all that activations. I was right bang in the middle of the corporate culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's crazy. This is from Nanuki. <laughs> <laughs> when they used to call you yes now it's, so uh, i'm right back in the middle but i have to say that corporate experience taught me a lot mm. it taught me responsibility it taught me structure and it taught me to understand what happens on the corporate side mm -hmm. as an artist so you see before then as just an artist mm -hmm. but now working in the corporate environment i got to understand a lot of things i made mistakes i learned from those mistakes but it taught me a lot. I love that. Yeah. It taught me a lot. And, and, even, and even structure. Wake up in the morning. Yep. Go to work. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm discipline. doing events. No, discipline. And I'm, and I'm doing events. Work does not stop at 5 p.m. Work could stop at 11 p.m. Mm. It could stop at 1 a.m. You're the one, the last one to leave. Who goes home with the banners? Where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That now became your responsibility. Yeah. And I learned hard lessons and everything, but I think it contributed heavily to a lot of what I became after that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this 2004 mm -hmm. that you're talking about, mm. Are you telling me that you haven't shown music all this time? I don't have a song as a money. A hit song as a money, I don't have. Nada. Mm. Okay. To delay with this story, because there's one song that I want to figure yes. out. Yes, <laughs> how one, it came to this be. This one has a pan in it, but then it's yours. <laughs> so what happened is I'm right now in the corporate culture and um, I'm enjoying it and everything. And of course, I'm making mistakes, you know. I just come from being a marketing exec. I just done events here and there. I done a few events in USIU. That's the other thing I forgot to mm -hmm, mention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, just little events here and there and all that. And um, that was, I'd done one in USIU. It was a charity event, it was a charity concert and yep. it turned out pretty well. That's when I got to meet Tom of Caliph. Um, mm, Boomba. Uh, no, no, no. Caliph Tom, Records. No, no, Tom, 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 Tom. Sorry, I'm, Tom, I'm mistaking yeah. him. Sorry. So I got to meet Tom of Caliph then when I did my concert in USIU. 
So I'd had a bit of event experience and I had done other things also outside campus. Yeah. But it was not to the magnitude of what I met at Capital. Uh, there was Capital. accountability, you know. Yep. Excuse me, I'm dealing with brands now. You know, you're dealing with proper brands. You know, you billboard. And all manner of things were going down. Was I really good at my job? Well, I tried. Mm. You know, I really tried. And it didn't really work out very well. When um, there was a shake-up at Capital, mm. I knew, hey, Nikondani, your mix. Mimi hapa, vile watu naenda. Ata mimi kuna vile and um i remember that point in time i could see you know you could see that you're struggling with the job and um i was sort of feeling like i could see the rest of the artists what was happening with them you know nameless was still performing you're still getting gigs you're still you're still doing his thing mm. and i'm in the corporate culture and i'm like i don't like this yep and i've come from making whatever i was making at the end of the month at capital i used to make it two days mm. you know when you taste that zooms from <laughs> hey! it's so difficult <laughs> and then you know the thing is it comes expense free you mm. picked up you're dropped your food is paid it's just net <laughs> nine, it was not a nine to five it was nine to eleven nine to eleven <laughs> Now, on top of that, what I used to make in two days was what I was getting paid at the end of the month. Yep. I was like, wow, I need to get back into this thing. But how? I'm working corporate. I was right bang what I call, yani rat race, nilikuwa ni mengia, na nachomoka tutukuwa kwa tu, every morning, now we're going to laundry house, I'm paying bills and everything. I'm thinking, how am I going to go to studio? No, but I need to pay for this. I was right bang in the rat race. Like, mm. I was right in the middle of it. I mm. was taking off with everyone else. Yeah. And I remember several times I was like, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave. I can't do this. I can't do this. And um, I started going back to reading books here and there. Mm. I started reading, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad um, and many other books. Mm. And I was like, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave. I can't do this. And of course, that whole thing of not wanting to be there it impacted my job yep 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 so i got fired mm. but even then i was like okay you beat me to it because mm. <laughs> i was actually going to leave mm. um i'd saved up a bit of money and i knew how much a truck costed so when i'd saved up for like two trucks i knew okay fine i can go back with this yeah so yeah that ended and i was no longer in the corporate world mm. and i thought okay this would be automatic you see i'd come from ninanoki tahidi ninanoki ninanoki talk to you you know i'd bought yep. time things mm. were going on pretty fast you know but then now still i hadn't found my sound and we were still yeah, because struggling you only have time even now with this corporate yeah. job so i've stopped corporate job and then my parents are like you'd better look for another job and i started looking for another job i started applying but my heart is like i want to do this music thing mm. and the more i'm thinking about doing this music thing you know lucas is like no we're not yet there we're not yet there and i'm like my goodness i don't have time mm. i just don't have time and in between then um i remember working at scanet i was under tony njuguna mm. as an apprentice and i was basically internship during your usau days ama when no that was after after the usau job you went to scanad i went to scanad huh? and um then from scanad you went to capital no that was after capital oh from after okay hold on hold on when did you go to scanad i went to scanad after capital you know my oh, parents okay. are putting yes, pressure, pressure on me so now you call tony get a job get a job so i was like hey you know what maybe i can be an apprentice an apprentice for tony and tony already knew that you know i'm an artist and everything i have mm. a bit of writing ability so i was there as a copywriter whoa and in the process of being a copywriter again i learned a lot i learned about how that works mm. you know advertising graphics you know all that i learned and i met some very interesting people there mm. yeah who today are like top brand yep. guys and everything i i met them at scanad mm. yeah i met tony then and um I just used to write ads and there's one ad actually we wrote together that won something so it was good. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't know this side. I didn't know this period. You see <laughs> yeah. when you don't know the back story you just assume yeah. the journey has been rosy. Come there's a point you stopped music. 
Yes, because I just couldn't find my sound. And also, part of the reason why I'm, we may not have noticed that much is because sometimes songs had a lot of life. Shell. Yes. They had a lot. Of, I mean, like yes. Ninanoki played for two years or three years. Heck, Ninanoki is still playing. But you yes. know what I mean? Songs then weren't, they had a lot of shelf life. A lot of shelf life. You know, people still knew me from Talk To You, Let Me Walk With You. There's a video out. So, of mm. course, they knew that. You know, I'm that artist. But the good thing is when you're a copywriter, nobody really cares about you that yeah. much. <laughs> you know, you're just a copywriter. Go to that corner. Um, and I learned a lot. I learned about branding, imaging, mm. representing your brand. I realized, oh, as an artist, I'm actually a brand. And um, I even got to work with uh, Andrew, who's really very Andrew good. Wright. Yes. Whoa, that's a big one. So, and a lot of guys who are really, really good in graphics today, you know, then mm. they were just coming about today. They're really solid guys in graphics and all that kind of stuff. And I remember telling Tony, I'm going to get back to music. I'm going to get back. And then when I was at Scanet, I think I was very determined more than ever to get back mm. and everything. Um, There's something about a creative knowing their, their home. You know that thing, E.T. go home. Yeah. It's like, it's like more creative, <laughs> you're being called back. Yes. Yeah. And Did you feel that when you were there? I, yes. I'm like, I, I'm, this is nice being a creative. It's, it's good. You know, it's working. It's good right there as a corporator, but I've tasted that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, it's good. Good. and it's good. And I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I'm going back there. So, um, and I could still see, you know, I can name list So I'm like, I, I'm not going but I'm and then this time you're not being called for any gigs. Gigs have dried up. Oh, there are no gigs. Your passive tunes, nothing. Passive tunes, <laughs> nothing. Mm. So I'm there, sort of gliding along through savings. Yeah, and um, I kept writing. Then when I was at Canada, I wrote a lot. I was so motivated to write, and I just kept writing. Mm -hmm. I kept writing and I started thinking about who is Amani? What does she look like? What does she sing like? What is her persona? What is her stage persona going to be like? What are her songs going to sound like? Now that I was learning about branding, mm -hmm. I applied it. Mm -hmm. I now started visualizing and creating the brand Amani. That's I was just not being an artist. <laughs> Down to even when I was releasing Bad Boy, I had been to sets. When they were doing sets during advertising shoots, I made sure that Bad Boy had a set. I had outfits. From then on, it was calculated. Okay. Is Bad Boy then becomes the next single? Yes. Okay, let's enter that because that <laughs> one, I, I think it was so big as well that I didn't know, I didn't feel the, 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 this gap. Yeah. You know, okay, let's talk about the whole process of you going back, what you'd look at, say, so, Nyash you know, on the song. 